All right, hi again, everybody. We're back. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Uh, back here today on the Tri-State. Boy, is it Indian summer here. I mean, we're in the upper, lower, to, lower 90s today, but it is oppressive today. Uh, I got one for you that's unique, new to the Ohio area. In fact, really a cool story. I did it at work. Of course, I was just saying, I did, an, he did a, uh, a filing on this brewing company. This is the Voodoo Brewing Company. Voodoo Brewing Company out of Meadville, Pennsylvania. Med actually, Medville, PA. I'm not even sure where that is even located. And this is the Wyona's. This is Wyona's Big Brown Ale. It's an Imperial Brown Ale. And it checks in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, they just got into Ohio, I believe, a week or two ago. I picked this up last week. Uh, it's a decent brown, but uh, yeah, new to the Ohio area. It says, Wyona's Big Brown Owl. Well, I love that song, the band, and that darn beaver. It made me want to make a beer in its honor. Generous amounts of brown malt and Maris Otter malt make you want to love this ale. We hop this ale exclusively with with Warrior to enhance the aroma of Wyona for you for your enjoyment. So get down with the brown. Uh, pretty cool theme, the bottle, all of that. Uh, no voodoo glass. Apparently, I'm going to go with my Weibacher. Stay in the state of Pennsylvania. Frosted Weibacher glass there. But, uh, yeah, it was an interesting beer. But I think it was cool. Like I said, we insured them. Did an IRF on this company. Man, bottle cap there. On tight, tight seal on this one. And really cool bottle cap logo there. You see that uh, neon coloring there on the Voodoo. Uh, go ahead and get a pour here. Uh, you know, Voodoo is a pretty cool name. And they've actually got a lot of people have typed them up in Pennsylvania. Of course, a new new company coming to the region. They want to get some respect and all of that fun stuff. Uh, there's the pour. And Imperial Brown, 7.5% alcohol by volume. And there it is. Uh, well, it's a, it's a nice brown. Oh, great color. Almost like mahogany-like. Um, but a great color. This is a well-crafted beer. You see the malt. You see the head on there, but some carbonation as well. So... Very good crafted beer. I did try this last week. Uh, gave a couple of them out to some friends. I tried it. You know, it was a good brown. Uh, I did. I'll try it again here and see. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't the best brown I've had. It wasn't. I wouldn't say it was great, but it was. It was respectable and, and serviceable and uh, definitely recommendable. Uh, but as far it was not on that upper level of brown. That middle level. So I've had 20 browns. I probably put it around 10th best. But we're gonna try it again. The head's quickly dissipated. Yeah, that's really. Kind of weird that that head is gone. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so, uh, here we go on this, the, the brown amp. Cheers. A lot of deep, uh, a lot of deep Munich malts in there. What what was what are the malts that said on this? It was said it was brewed with. Yeah, I, oh, I was on this side of the bottle. Wow, generous amounts of brown malt. My goodness, there is a ton of brown. That's a pretty good beer. You know, you sip on it again. I'm getting that brown. This is the classic brown ale. That's uh, solid. Yeah, and really, you know, I think about it. You can't really, to me, mess up a brown ale. Uh, that's refreshing. Uh, nice full-bodied flavor. And a little lacing on the glass there. Some lovely lacing. Um, I'd say this actually tastes better this time than last time. Uh, you know, this, for, of course... For me doing reviews, I think I should the review the beer I do just review one a day. You know, I've had Friday nights where I reviewed six, seven from different companies and different styles, and I feel like that's my fault for not getting the full flavor and the full. And Dre still drinks some beers on Friday, but just don't review them. You know, if I'm gonna sit here and drink ten different beers on a Friday night, which I enjoy with my friends, I'm just gonna review just one, and then still drink those and review them later. Because I feel like this, I had four or five other beers that night over at my friend Leslie's house, and I feel like this one. Tasted okay, but I feel like being the first review of the day, I feel like this has much more flavor. This is really good. 
Um, so yeah, that's you know, kind of made that a new rule of thumb for me is, you know, drink as many beers as you can and I've been limited to this one review because I feel like I reviewed it, it's not giving the beer justice. And this is the fourth or fifth time I've said this on different beers, different breweries where it's like, I'll have it a week before and not review it and then it just tastes like that stout from Stockatuck, the blueberry and maple, so much blueberry and maple when I did it by itself and the other night I had other beers with it and it was just, it couldn't get any of those flavors. So, uh, yeah, that's my mistake and I'm learning from that. Uh, but this is a nice beer, well crafted brown, 7.5%. Uh, I'm gonna give it a B plus. Uh, I don't think it's quite as good as like the Bell's Brown or, uh, the brown I had up in Michigan this weekend, the odd side ales, the hazelnut, hazelnut, but uh, very, very good, serviceable. I would, I'd recommend this, uh, try this beer. I mean, if, uh, you know, you want something new and you like brown ales and you just want to try something, and it's reasonably priced. I think it was only 10 bucks or maybe 10.99, but still 7% alcohol. So, uh, yeah, try this beer and uh, try Voodoo Brewing Company as well. Uh, they seem to be doing some cool artwork and some bees and brews out of Meatville, Pennsylvania. And that's cool for Ohio, you know, to get, I feel like, most companies in Pennsylvania should issue with Ohio, unless they're really small. And, uh, you know, they're kind of out there with Michigan a little bit, in my opinion. You know, Victory, Weibacher, Trobes, and uh, these guys. There's, there was a couple other Pennsylvania companies that had just started distributing the jungles, too. I picked this up because of, we, we insure them. You know, I said about a, three months ago, I did an insurance filing on this. I think it was like back in June, July, and I was like, Voodoo Brewing. And, looked it up and I've never heard of them and then I was talking to a jungles rep back in August he's like oh we're getting voodoo in a couple weeks I'm like wow so a solid round folks cheers to the brewers of voodoo for all their hard work and that's going to do it for us uh, we will see you guys this weekend I was able to you know tell last night I'm not going to purchase any beer but I found this in the back of the fridge like I've not reviewed this so that's going to do it for us and uh, cheers life's too short be happy cheers see you